Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to show you some examples of some great home pages. And I wanted to explain this because often when I see people creating landing pages or home pages of their Shopify store, when I look at them, a lot of times they don't really know what they do or there's not really any enticing something to get me to like want to buy from them. So I want to show you some examples of what you can make your homepage look like. These are actually all Shopify stores. So this is totally doable with Shopify. That being said, a lot of these companies have custom themes or uh, paid themes, but regardless, uh, what I want you to get from this video is that when somebody, when a customer, a potential customer comes to your website, uh, what's above the fold, as they say, it came from like the newspaper days, basically the headline of your website, it's above the fold. So basically before they start scrolling, within three seconds, four seconds max, uh, the people need to know what you're selling, why it benefits them, why they need it, as well as how to get it. So a call to action. And if those three things aren't on your landing page, you're already doing something wrong. So right when these people get to their website, they should know all three of those things immediately. And I'll give you some good examples here. So I'm on my computer and I just typed in great landing pages and I picked some that I really liked that I don't know anything about these companies at all, but all of these landing pages uh, fit this, the what they sell, uh, why, why you need it, what the benefits are, and a call to action of how to get it. So this is a great example. I don't know anything about this, but immediately in the first four to five seconds of just looking at this page, I can probably guess pretty much everything I need to know. Water with benefits, drink your vitamins, eco-friendly fruit, fruit, fruit infuser water bottle. Pretty self-explanatory, and then the call to action right here, shop now. So I know exactly what they're selling, exactly why I need it. It's eco-friendly, it's fruit infused water bottle. Seems pretty cool. They have a picture right here if, in case I'm not getting the idea and a shop now. I could just literally click and buy it. Um, and I just want you guys to know how important this really is because uh, if you don't have this set, really well, your bounce rate will be really high. And if you don't know what a bounce rate is, uh, that's basically the rate at which people leave your website. It will be very high if they don't know what you're doing or can't figure it out in the first few seconds, especially when you're building a brand or trying to sell random things. I see it all the time, people building their Shopify pages. Just make sure that you explain those three things. So here's another website I saw. Allbirds, obviously it's a shoe manufacturer. Again, I don't know anything about these, but it's so well explained. Running shoes made from trees. That's it. Like, how could you not understand what they sell? It's eco-friendly shoes. Like in that one sentence, one sentence, you know exactly what they do and exactly why you need it. You know everything about it, literally, five words, you know everything about this site, and you have shop men's, shop women's, call to action. This is a great landing page. Next one I picked, premium care for the premium man. Clearly some sort of men cleaning healthcare thing. They obviously have pictures of uh, skincare type stuff. It's super simple. They have the call to action. Uh, here's another one. Look, at, I, I really like, I used to do this, the videos in the background. I think it's really appealing, very eye-catching. Um, but make perfect coffee with a touch of a button. So simple. That explains perfectly what it is and why I need it. Um, and then a shop now. Uh, so I want to explain too that this is a a really easy way to do this is exactly what they did. If you could get a video background showcasing the product, excellent. But if you could just get a nice picture, maybe to the left or the right or in the background, just like this, of the product, and then literally Shopify, usually all the um, slideshow 
links and stuff, they have a headline, a subheadline, and then you can add a button. And this is exactly what this is. I would come up with some sort of headline that explains uh, the why. And then if it's not clear enough, I would use the subheadline to explain what the product is. That's usually how I do it. And then the shop now button. This is perfect, very easy. Anyone can do this on Shopify. And then this last one, it's literally indestructibleshoes.com. Like, you know what it is even before visiting the website, like just the name of the website alone. But I wanted to showcase this one because I loved the pictures they have. This is very like obviously indestructibleshoes.com. They didn't even use a headline or a subheadline. It's just like, listen, we're indestructibleshoes.com. Here's our shoe getting ran over by a car. Here's our shoe on a bed of nails getting hit by a hammer. Like, it's so easy and such a clear message. And uh, I don't know, I, I wanted to make this video and this is, you know, this may seem like a really easy, like simple video, uh, but I wanted to do this video because it is so ridiculously important that people understand what your product is and why I, I get so many messages of people like asking me to maybe look at their website, look at their landing page. And half the time it's just filled with random products. I don't really know what they do. I don't know if they're specializing in anything. It just looks like, you know, a website I could buy random things, you know, like wish.com or something. And so I wanted to make this really important because I honestly think that pretty much all of you, I think regardless of the situation, regardless of what you're selling, regardless of, uh, you know, whatever your Shopify store is, whatever you're selling, you need to have a very clear uh, what you're selling and why somebody needs it. The benefit is very important too, because if you just say that you're selling a product like perfect shoes, like so generic or something, the perfect shoe, what does that mean, right? This one was a good example because it's running shoes made from trees. It's so unique. You know, I'm sure there's other companies that do it, but the way they word it with these five words is just, sorry, I'm not even showing, but the way they word it with these five words is just so simple, so clean, and it's so unique. Because another thing I see a lot of people do is they, um, they maybe put a headline that just says like, shop for the perfect gift. And it's like, I don't, I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? You got to be specific. You got to really have a reason. And you know, this may seem like such a simple thing, but I'm telling you a tagline like this running shoes made from trees. It looks simple when you look at it, but trust me from experience, it is so difficult to convey the exact message that you want in just three to four words or five or six or seven in just one sentence at all. Um, it is a difficult thing. And I just wanted to let you know that because, you know, looking at this, you may see like, oh man, that shouldn't take me that long. But in reality, you really should give it some thought, uh, your headline and your subheadline to your store. So that's it guys. That's all I have for you. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I just see so many Shopify stores. So many people fall, fall flat when it comes, their Shopify stores fall flat when it comes to this kind of thing. Uh, they don't really know what they're doing. They don't really know what they're selling. And a lot of times, you know, it's not really the site The often, you know, the person may not exactly know what they're trying to sell. They're just picking products that they think may make some money and you really need to hone in on what the benefit is, why the customer needs to shop with you, and what exactly you're selling, and then a way to buy it, call to action. So, thank you so much, and uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.